Number 76. Calculate the maximum force in newtons exerted by the blood on an aneurysm or ballooning in a major artery, given the maximum blood pressure for this person is 150 millimeters of mercury, and the effective area of the aneurysm is 20 squared centimeters. All right. So essentially, we're trying to find force, right? They're talking about pressures and areas. So I mean, to find the formula we need is going to be very straightforward. It's just this one over here on the right, right? This says that the overall pressure is going to be equal to the force applied divided by the area over which that force is applied. So now what I need to do is calculate this for force. So just do some algebra, right? Cross multiplication. This is going to be pressure multiplied by the area. Now, if I need to find newtons here, you better be using, which is a standard unit, right? You better be using standard units here for pressure and area. So... The standard unit for pressure is Pascal, standard unit for area is square meters. So what I need to do is just do some conversions, okay? Now in terms of doing the conversion from millimeters of mercury into Pascal, you can do this in a couple of ways. It doesn't, you're going to end up with the same values. Um, what you could do is you could actually substitute in this formula for the pressure of the mercury, all right? Um, because why? Well, they told you the height, right? 150 millimeters. They also told you that it is mercury, so you know the density of it, right? You know the density down here, and you know gravity. So you can do that, right? So I'm going to do that here, right? I'll show you two ways. So here the pressure is going to be equal to then the height of the mercury, because that's how they're giving me the pressure, the density of that mercury, then multiplied by gravity, okay? This is all then going to be multiplied then by the overall area. So here now, force will be equal to the height of the mercury. Remember, we need standard units. If this is in millimeters, it better convert it into meters. So this is going to be 0 0.150 meters, divide by 1,000. Times the density of mercury, you need it in kilogram per cubic meter. We've been doing enough problems, probably memorized at this point. 13,600, then multiplied by our gravity of 9.8 then multiplied by the area squared, but they gave it to us in centimeters. Remember, we need meters squared. So I can do that little conversion up here, right? 20 centimeters squared multiplied by a centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top, 100 centimeters to one meter. Better square this result so that you cancel the centimeters appropriately. And you also get your square meters. So essentially now just plugging in this conversion, it's gonna be 20 divided by 100 squared, right? I can also multiply the top by one squared because this is really one squared, but obviously we know that that you know, won't change anything. So here's gonna be the force. So it's 0.15 times 36, uh, excuse me, 13,600 times 9.8 times then 20 divided by 100 squared. Okay, so this is about 39.984 or so. So this is gonna be about 40 Newtons considering our rounding, okay? So this would be the answer. This is the maximum force. Now, let's say you didn't do your Pascal conversion this way, and instead you thought to yourself, well, if they told me millimeters of mercury, 150, right, 150 millimeters of mercury, I know that there's approximately 760 millimeters of mercury in every 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. Now, you can do this. This is an okay conversion. Why don't you calculate this? Humor me for a second. Calculate that. 150 times 1.013 times 10 to the fifth, divide that by 760. So you get an answer of almost 20,000, right? I'm rounding a little bit, but almost 20,000, right? Now humor me here. Calculate this pressure we found, okay, by using these numbers. So 0.15 times 13,600 times 9.8, OMG, right? Look at how close they are. Okay, why are they why do they differ slightly? Well, because again, all right, I'm approximating the Pascal up here, right? This is the approximate density of mercury, but notice it's the same, right? It's basically the same thing. So it doesn't matter how you do this conversion, both are acceptable. You might be seeing me switch one way and the other, because I'm trying to show you different ways to look at it in case you see one way or not the other way, in case you see the other way and not the other way. I, you know. Anyway, um, that's enough. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you out with more problems. Take care.